there was once a king who was walking on the terrace of his palace lost in miserable thoughts about the friction with his queen the indiscipline of his prince the rebellion by his commander in chief when suddenly this king he heard sounds of mirth and laughter coming from the hut of a poor family that was just by the side of his palace the king was astonished i the king of the land am unhappy and this poor family is so joyous and blissful he called his minister and said mantri can you please tell me what is the secret of this poor family's happiness the mantri said o king if you wish to know such a priceless gem of wisdom it will cost you 99 gold coins when the minister got them he tied them into a bundle and threw the bundle in front of that hut in the morning when that family woke up they opened their door to discover a bundle before their door step they were thrilled how much have we received let's count it they started 1 2 3 96 97 98 99 10 Now they thought if God had to give us he should have given a hundred straight how can we be happy in 99 now they lost their happiness they decided god has given us only 99 never mind we will purchase the 100th gold coin ourselves they set up a saving scheme and started living by it but the day the saving was not as planned a quarrel would begin at home the husband would blame the wife you have spent too much the wife would blame the husband you did not earn enough today slowly the peace at home started vanishing One month later the king was again walking on his terrace when from the same hut sounds of fighting and quarrel came to him he was surprised what happened to this family he called the mantri and said mantri what is the matter what has happened to them the mantri said this family has fallen into the trap of 99 they are thinking what they have today is not enough to be happy because they only have 99 in the same way you and i have fallen in the same trap we have this body we have education we have two rotis to eat and two sets of clothes to wear but this whole rat race is because we think what i have is not enough everybody is thinking the grass is greener on the other side nobody is realizing that happiness is not a destination that you will reach one day If that is your theory then the whole journey of 40 50 60 70 years will be passed in anticipation of future happiness and what is the guarantee that when you reach there you will become happy we have to make every day every hour and every moment of our journey a happy one and how do we do that very simple 
decide if i choose to be contented in what i have i can be happy right now in other words happiness is not an external object it is a choice of attitudes that we make choose happiness again and again live in happiness every moment of our life and spread happiness to all those around us as well